Hello, welcome back to Kara Jo Plans, where I am planning and budgeting my way through single mom life while working full time and building a business. I'm so glad that you're here. Today we are going to be doing my weekly check-in in my Budget by Paycheck workbook by The Budget Mom, and I have it decorated with some stickers from Life in Envelopes, so that's where this header came from. So first thing I do is I list out my expenses as I spend them. And a couple of these from yesterday, today's Saturday, these are still pending, so I just didn't add up the totals there. Um, I'll get to it, not real important. So first thing, track the expenses is to color code them. So we did get movie um, snacks when we went to the movies last week. I tracked the movie tickets last week. The food um, ended up clearing on this week's bill. We stopped at Dollar General for some milk and some other groceries. Then after three hours of Taekwondo last Sunday, we stopped at Dairy Queen for dinner. I had Panera for lunch. And then date night, we got Chinese. And I had sheets for lunch on Friday. So lots of food expenses here this week, unfortunately. Didn't do too good there on cooking meals, but every once in a while you need to eat out. And I did fill up my car this week for $65.52 while we were out at the movies. I had um, rewards for sheets, so I was able to get $0.10 cents off a gallon plus the regular three that you use for the card. So there was that. My State Farm Insurance, I paid. And I pay that on a U.S. bank card. Um, it's partnered through State Farm, but if you pay your car insurance with the U.S. bank State Farm card, you get an extra 3% back. So why not? And then we had a couple bills go out. My cable bill for $118.79. My Apple storage for $299 and my electric for $67. And I am terrible at highlighting today, I think. I had two cups of coffee this morning instead of one, so I think my hands might be a little shaky. <laughs> little bit shaky there. And then I did pay on my PNC card, $75. Got my nails done. They're kind of like a like they fade, some of them fade, that one fades, and then these ones have a little bit of pink that they fade, but super cool, check that out. So you can see the thumbs really good. I think those are my favorite nail, but the green and the blue looks awesome too. Always a nice job. So 56.25 there, and that includes tip. And then the kids' Taekwondo classes got billed for the month for $130. Okay, so let's get these totaled up. So first category is food. And we're gonna need a calculator for this one. So we've got 24.45, oop, need a decimal. 24.45 plus 17.54 plus 2707, plus 1382, plus 4678, plus 1532, 144.98, and then car was just 6552, and then insurance, was 411 utilities and bills we have 118.79 plus 2.99 plus 67 so 188.78 and then debt is 75 Personal is 56.25 and kids is 130. 
So what I'm going to do is flip this open so that I can see where we ended up last week with our leftovers over here. So for food, I had $298.49 left and I spent $144.98. So we have 153.51 left in our food budget. And I can tell you right now, we're going to go over on food this month because I have a grocery order in and it's almost that much already. So that's fun. Car 280 minus 6552. Still have 214.48 there, which is awesome. I've been um, really working to not drive anywhere that I don't have to. And then for some reason, 264.17 was all I budgeted for additional insurance, but I spent 411. So that one's over by 135.94. Man, my hands are shaky today. Holy cow. Don't ever let me do this after two cups of coffee again. My goodness. 389.19 left for bills, and I spent 188.78. So we have 241 left there. Debt, 623.78 minus 75, 548.78. And then personal, I didn't spend any on personal last week. So let's see where I have that set up for the month, 150. So 150 minus 56, 25 equals 93, 75. And then for the kids this month, I think I budgeted 200. I did, okay. So we have 70 left there. So I'm just gonna get my one red left out for insurance, which is over. And everything else is still within budget. So that is good. Um, and then I tracked everything on my monthly planner. And again, second video in a row where my phone's going off. Sorry, guys. Um, so I did track everything all the way through the 15th so far. I've had two days where nothing was spent this month, and one was the 4th of July, so we didn't go anywhere. Wednesday, I didn't spend any money, and the only thing that really came out on Thursday was my Apple bill, which it might have even come out a different day, but that's when it's supposed to come out, so that's where the sticker was. Um, Got to work on food. I think we're going to go over on food this uh, month. Gas is looking okay, not too bad. I'll probably have at least one, maybe two more fill-ups, but I have $214 and a fill-up is $75 or less right now, fingers crossed. Our gas has gone down a little bit around here, not, not too much, but a little bit, so that'll help out. And then we have a couple more bills coming out the rest of the month, one more nail appointment. So I think food is really where I think I need to be the most concerned. Um, it's definitely going to go over, so I'm going to have to find somewhere, maybe car expenses, where I save a little bit. So that's where I am, and that's how I kind of plan it out and think through and talk through what's going on in my weekly check-in. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video. Make sure you're subscribed, and make sure you're following me on the other channels. I am on Facebook. Um, under my name is my personal account, but I also have Healthy Hair with Kara is my business page. And on Instagram, I am Kara Joe Plans. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.